Hello there and welcome back to another mock series of course exactly a week ago today when you see in this video we got a triple episode premiere of the Bad Batch which is lovely to be getting. We've even got two double episode drops later on in fact in two weeks time already the show is going by so quickly but episode 4 does come out today we're not doing anything from episode 4 there will be no spoilers much like with Ahsoka, I'm sort of delaying these mocks by a week. So the mock today is going to be from the first three episodes last week. It's actually taken from episode three. It's not really too much of a spoiler if you haven't watched it, but I would recommend watching it beforehand just so you understand the scene. And there is going to be a new mock every week. I'll try to make it a Wednesday. There are some other videos that I might do on a Wednesday, so it might be a little early, a little late, but it will be around the Wednesday every week, and that's leading up to the finale, and then I guess I'm doing one the week after the finale as well. I might do a recollection if they're all still built at the end, so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on any of these court cool mocks, and I hope you enjoy it. And as you can see, I have gone all out for the first Bad Batch mock of Season 3, the final season, which... Though it is a little sad, hopefully we do get another animated show. I'm really hoping for a clone show that follows Rex and Echo around the galaxy. But this mock is centred around Batcha, who we have here, who is a lurker that was imprisoned by the Empire on Mount Antis, which is on the planet Wayland, I think we find out in the episodes. And he's sort of, well, he's not really defective like the Bad Batch, but he is sort of an outcast compared to the rest. He's not as big, he's not as strong, and the Empire are trying to terminate them. But of course, Omega does not let that happen, ends up releasing it into the wild, and we end up with this awesome scene you can see on your screen of the lurker howling to the night sky. And that is what I wanted to recreate here. Of course, the lurker I've created is a bit too big to have here widthways on the ship. And I definitely could have expanded the ship, but I wanted to get that wing up to the side of it. So I ended up building this massive lurker. And as you can see, the lurker does pop right off. There are two sets of studs just on top for them to stand on and I've tried to replicate the cockpit of the ship. This is the crash ship that you see earlier on. I think actually in the first episode, this ship crashes. So if you didn't pick up on that, that is really cool. I've given it a little interior there with the two seats that you'd see the pilots in. And this sort of odd shape with all these fragile dark red pieces are being held together with some of the transparent snot clips with that little indented clip that i picked up on the pad wall a while back and haven't really had a use for up until now so it's a really cool piece for when you're creating cockpits because you can just have all these outlined all these tiles and some plates at these right angles some even at more of a sloped angle to match the vertical scale of the otherwise sloped ship but it is a really neat piece and this wing does actually pop right off so we can take a closer look on camera this is probably a far better way to view the mock in its entirety for a video you can see the reason this is squared off on the inside is because there's actually two gaps in the wing one at the top one at the bottom and i've wanted to replicate that the wing otherwise is just two plates built back to back this is a reverse of the wing which we'll take a look with the surrounding terrain in a second you can see a sneak peek over there but as it's been crashed and has been there for probably about half a year between the first and third episodes, as we see Omega checking off all the different tallies on the wall, there's some vines and some mossy patches growing out of it. And even on the side against the ship, you've got some vines just growing up on the wing and letting nature take over. Now, that is not all because in the scene, you also see a little mossy patch down here, and I've added. A few leaves around the ship to represent the different moss patches that again we see in the show the wing does clip down on four jumper plates and it's not the easiest connection to make but it is held in there pretty sturdily when it is held and right at the bottom i've actually got some panels in fact let's pop it off and you can see that i've actually got some of these 
panels that are holding up the wing which are really cool for just getting the wing to stand on its side and then right at the top I've used a few brackets and a 2x2 two two tile just to hold it together and make sure nothing's bending it away from each other of course it's not the most perfect technique there is a little crack just in the top there but it's not that noticeable when it's surrounded by all this really cool looking terrain I've tried to replicate the terrain of Wayland as best as I can and I think using a mixture of these leaf elements these smaller leaf round sort of modified plates and these little miniature tree barks which I think are really cool if you're trying to build some miniature trees but I've used them to represent all the different roots and the weeds growing out and even though it's only about three plates thick all this grassy leafiness down here it's probably representing a much thicker bush as we see Omega and Crosshair cutting through in the same episode it's not as easy as it looks and this is a 360 model of course the back of it isn't too interesting it is quite plain as i've just walled this out and i could have included a little doorway so you can actually see some more of the interior but i didn't feel like it was that important and you can just see it through looking through the cockpit i have tried to include as many accurate designs for the ship as i can like the different colors here we've got some tan where the yellow is still wearing off on this edge here and then we've just got dark gray where the metal has started to rust and just go a lot darker than it naturally is in its light bluish gray and also matches the lurker quite well which we will take a closer look at in a second there's a dark blue strip just on the edge here to match it to its original ship and i think the whole thing just comes together very very well as you can see you can quite easily tell what it's meant to represent and it's definitely bigger than minifigure scale of course batcher here is a lot bigger than minifigure scale as well and if we take a look i've got its mouth open howling it does have a tongue sticking out and that is because i have tried to recreate the face from the scene where omega's trying to feed him so he did have his tongue out and it didn't really look too odd when you've got it howling up at the moon to have its tongue just over its bottom lip there. The mouth does move up and down so it can chomp some of the food that it's been given and I've tried to recreate all of the shapes. In fact, I think I have done a pretty good job replicating the shape of the lurker hound's head. So I'm very happy with this. The legs I've got at that angle where the front one is... I guess you've got all the muscles bulking out really and it's at that little angle using the hinge brick which does give it a bit more posability as well as the ball joint at the top and that is replicated on the other side with some really nice claw pieces I wish I had enough to fill the back ones as well but at the same time if I did it would make it a bit harder to clip to the top the back legs are pretty simple they're pretty straight in the show so I have added some muscles on the back side but other than that just use the 2x4 tile to flush it off and make it fit with the slopes elsewhere on the model and of course I had to include a little towel for Batcher here as you see pointing out when it's howling I just had to give him a little poseable towel even if it isn't really anything too grand now if you have seen a few of my recent reviews and perhaps you've seen the T-Rex review I have sort of taken a technique from that set using these little gem pieces. They look like the siren pieces you'd get on a cop car or something, like the old fashioned ones on top of the car, and then have this modified slope piece over the top of it. And that just hides the eyes a little bit, but makes it look like they're coming out the side of the head and puts them into this little gap, as you see with the lurkers in the show. And I've tried to replicate also the cheek coming up behind it by putting the ball joint plate a little higher more or less in line with the eye so i'm very happy how this lurker turned out and i'm happy to have a batcher for my collection now as i said this isn't minifigure scale because minifigure scale it's just smaller than omega and if i was to get omega she is definitely not a little bigger than the lurker nor is she to scale with this set so i'm happy i've managed to blow it out of proportions especially after doing my micro moss esper which was a micro scale so i guess this is more of a macro scale i'm not quite sure that's how it works but 
we can clip Batcher just back on to the back side. In fact, my Lurker does have these bracket pieces on the foot, which enable me to get the toes out the front and a nice slope rounding off the foot at the back and also gives two points of clutch for each of the feet to just clip on to the back bit here. And then you can really just pose it however you like. Of course, I'm going to have him standing on top of the cockpit, howling up to the night sky because I think that's the best look for this. And if you did want to see some better angles of this, because again, with the small space that I've got for filming, it's not the greatest angle to be seeing this, but I will be posting some images to Instagram. So be sure to follow me over there at Master Moldy as with all other platforms and check out all the other links in the description and may the bricks be with you always.